Oh hi, didn't see you there. We are at Planet Fitness again for a shoulders and arms workout. I am two weeks out from show. Uh, two weeks? Two weeks and one day out from show. So I guess we could call this a road to pro part whatever part we're on. Today we are starting off with a lateral raise variation from behind the back, getting a little bit more of that bottom portion of the movement. This is just a really solid machine in order to make this happen. Obviously I'm not cuffing it like I normally would, but you know, on an individual day basis, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of that. And the grip is gonna be strong enough to make this work for the most part. But if I had the possibility to, I could always take if I really wanted to and do this, but it's a little bit awkward of a setup. All in all, pretty good machine, but enough talk. Time to get into a set. Let me make sure I can actually get a rep with this first. Nope. Ugh. This goes from being light to very heavy, very fast. That is just a good setup. Absolutely love this machine. So when I perform single or unilateral exercises, what I will do is I will actually take and take a fairly long break each one. Now I know a lot of people say, oh, you're not, you don't need to do that. That's way too, why would you not at least take equal breaks? So let's say you were gonna take three minutes between them, like a set, right? At very least, why would you not do one and a half between each arm? because you still need to recover the system. Now, depending on how I'm feeling, I might take longer, might take a little bit shorter, but I'm at least going to give equal rest between each arm. It just makes sense. The system still has to recover even if the side delt isn't tired. So typically what I'll do is I'll just let my cameraman do her set and then I'll do mine. So she'll do her right arm, I'll do my right arm. She'll do her left arm, I'll do my left arm. That's how we do it, makes sense. All right, our next exercise we got on the docket is a dip machine. Now, I like this dip machine, it's not perfect. One of the issues I have with it is that there's nothing to hold you down. So you kind of have to press yourself back into the seat in order to not keep your body from raising up. But you know what, it's not terrible. Let's get this off, maybe see if we can see anything. Flat as a pancake right now, but I'm sure there's a little bit of muscle showing. We're very depleted right now, so we will have to spend a good amount of time carving up before show. Probably gonna be a multiple day carve up just to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't miss a peak, but we'll get to that later. You guys will get to see everything I do. All right, let's get it. Good stuff, good stuff. Can you see anything? You can.
so weird being this lean but having zero vascularity. <laughs> It's strange, really strange. I have more vascularity when my body fat's higher, but do what you have to do for the shreds, right? This machine, I'm not a huge fan of it because it gets so heavy close to the top, but it's all right. I would prefer that it was honestly a little bit heavier in the bottom. That's why I like the prime machine that you get at Alpha Land. All in all, still a good exercise. You just have to spend a little bit more time at length here than I want to. And moving on to the reverse pec deck. If you guys haven't noticed, my overall energy is not super high but that's pretty normal for this point in prep basically just getting through workouts at this point obviously i still push myself still try to move good amounts of weight and my strength levels are lower but they're not like completely tanked out so that's always a good sign and i mean outside of that honestly working out just becomes a lot more boring on prep that's the that's kind of one of those things where it's like people are asking me like how's your lifts going are you still oh progressively overloading no no I, I can't progressively overload at this point and at this point you go into the gym you do your workout you leave it's not like oh yeah let's go i'm super out for this workout because you know you're not building muscle at this point you're just like okay i'm just trying to maintain it and it just becomes really really boring at that point so if you do ever decide that you're going to go into prep just understand that there's a mental burden that comes alongside of it all right let's do this <sighs> oh. Oh. You may be wondering why I don't really go all the way back or care that much about going all the way back. That's mostly because in the majority of your back movements, you're gonna get that full retraction and full contraction of the rear delt. Where this, the primary advantage of this machine is that you can work the delts or the rear delt a little bit more at length. So I'm not too concerned if I can't pull all the way back. I mean, if you do pull all the way back, you're probably actually gonna get your traps and rhomboids into it a little bit more than you want to. So is there a real advantage to doing it all the way back? Probably not. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> my, my brain is just not there. I'm, uh, I'm trying to formulate thoughts and I can feel that things are just a little bit slower, but that's the nature of dieting and dieting hard. Let's uh, show off things. Oh yeah, the rear delt's there, but you wanna get that next level, you gotta sacrifice a little bit. Now we've got my mechanical drop set. Unfortunately, we don't have the Vulcan grip or two long ropes, so we gotta make do with what we have today. Now, you don't have to be 100% optimized every single time you go into lift. As long as you're getting yourself a good stimulus, you'll be okay. But obviously I prefer to have other attachments available to me. But I'm not gonna let that get to me. I'm just gonna put in the work. one set of those today so I don't really need to do much more dang this lighting is just next level Ooh. 
Ooh. Man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're gonna have to come back here like three days out. <laughs> So remember how I said that I, like, I had no vascularity before? Well, it's starting to come in, and I think I figured out why. The nitrates take a little while to kick in, and that's what's in OB Mix. I forgot that they have like, it's only like 40 or 45 minutes is when they like really start kicking in. So it makes sense that it would develop a little bit more over the length of the workout. Obviously still not huge veins or anything like that, but at least you can see them now. All in all, we got one more thing to do, and that is one of my favorite variations, which is the hammer curl preacher the hammer preacher curl whatever you want to call it but taking this neutral grip rather than on here and just really going for it all right let's finish this workout off i'm done Well, good workout overall. Good session. <laughs> I'm tired. But yeah, we got two weeks and one day to go till showtime. So we're only gonna get a little bit more tired from here. Ah, I might get a little bit better. See, it's, it's kind of interesting because like the energy levels fluctuate so much. This could be my lowest point. This could be a midpoint, you never know. And also we're gonna be adding back in some food uh, leading into show just to make sure that we can fully fill out not becoming looking like a string beam but honestly it seems like could be wrong on this but it seems like I'm holding size relatively well despite being very low calorie so we might be able to go for a little bit of extra conditioning around like Monday or Tuesday is when we'll decide whether we have to really start pushing the food up or not but yeah right now still able to get good pumps still able to not great pumps but like enough enough I'm just talking at this point just yapping so we should probably just close it out as always I appreciate you guys the support and uh let's finish strong DNFO